Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. It's Saturday the 28th of August 2021. I'm in one of my favorite forests in Czechia. And I'm in the forest for I think three hours already. And I don't find many mushrooms. Actually not many of those that I would like to pick. But this is the first serious find. A nice Poletus edulis in in a spruce part of the forest. So definitely I'm not hesitating to pick it. And I'm wondering if I will find anything else today. I would like to show you a mushroom that everyone should know because it's very dangerous. It's the dead cup amanita or in Latin it's called amanita phalloides. It usually has a green colored hat but it's not a rule, it could be also almost white. And it grows out of something that looks like an eggshell. Some Amanitas uh, have that and it's not easy to recognize because it's usually underground. So that's another reason why it is better if you pick mushrooms, you should pick it whole so you know how the stump looks like on the bottom. So definitely this is one of signs that how you can recognize this mushroom. It's strongly poisonous and basically deadly, so always be careful and only pick mushrooms that you really know. As you can see there are many birch trees around and also other trees where the Lessinum species likes to grow. I kept visiting this place repeatedly in hope that one day I will find this. I'm not sure if this is the orange birch bolete or if it's the other one, but it's definitely quite nice. At least from top, from the bottom, it's so much bitten by slugs that I'm hesitating whether I should take it or not. But maybe there will be some more of them. So yes, there is another one. Looks a bit smaller, so I hope it will be a bit more fresh. And maybe the slugs didn't touch it so much. I will think about taking a picture. So I took a picture of it and now it's time to pick it because it looks excellent. I don't think I have ever found such a nice body of this species. And it's clean, no worms, no slugs, a perfect body. So this is literally a huge surprise here because this one is the same species as the previous two but this one is totally huge. It's the, as huge as my hand and I'm not going to pick it because it's probably too old. It deserves to stay here. It seems like we have another Lessinum but this one is the classic birch bolete, I guess. The head is not orange color, but somehow like brownish. A bit bitten, but it looks all right. So another nice find for today. 
So I'm slowly walking and I'm trying to look into the tall grass so I notice if there is any other lessinum and of course there is one more quite huge and looks nicely shaped so I hope there were no slugs visiting him okay there were some but it's still, still looking very nice I think this species is the Lessinum aurantiacum I'm not 100% sure but it could uh, fit to the place where it grows and how it looks like so basically just behind one tree there are more of them it looks really great because here we have two pieces and they look very fresh you can see the spore side like the bottom side of the head is white they are growing next to each other are very huge I'm just trying to carefully pick them so the grass doesn't damage them too much it's a beautiful duo or twins or how to say it from this side a bit bitten but you can cut so this is a great find but it's not finished yet because there is another huge guy and despite of being so huge I, I found it quite firm so I want to pick it so at least we can have a look how such a big one looks from the bottom side it turned color to black on places where slugs were walking on it or moving on it but it's so huge and quite firm so maybe it will be even healthy I got attracted by these lacarias which are growing in very large numbers here They are basically everywhere at this place but there was something looking a bit different and it's a uh, bay bolid here I'm not going to take it, I, I think it looks like damaged by slugs too much but it's a very nice view to see all the mushrooms here I've just found an extremely huge mushroom at first I didn't know what the species could be but I think it's one of uh, champignons or the mushrooms very closely related to them so basically from the same mushroom family if I compare it with my hand you can see it's totally giant I thought that I won't pick chanterelles today I already saw a few small groups of them but after I saw these guys here I decided to take them because they look very nice they are quite huge very firm it was raining recently so they are not drying out
and I will probably use them for my dinner today or tomorrow. Again, there is something interesting to see, and that's this large group of these clustered mushrooms. In Latin, the name is uh, Hippoloma, I think. And this is one of the largest groups of them that I have ever found. Here I have another group of them. This time it's growing together with some russulas, with the yellow ones here. And this mushroom is poisonous. And I think the English name of it is clustered wood lover. It likes to grow on wood, either on dead trees or trees which are alive. I didn't expect to find chicken of the woods today. This is quite a huge cluster. And I would say it's definitely too old to take, it wouldn't be good to eat, but it's still very nice to look at. Now I have a giant Scarletina bolit. bit damaged by slugs and I am wondering if this is mold I'm afraid it is I mean the white stuff I will probably have to leave it here it's a pity because it's really huge but rather not to risk There are many pine trees in this forest, so I'm not surprised to see this mushroom, which is called Sparasis crispa in Latin. It's edible and very tasty, but it can get a bit messy when processing it, so I'm not going to take it today. I believe there will be many chances during the autumn season to find more of them. So I decided to finish for today. After a week of rain I hoped it would be a bit better, but still not bad. I found really nice bolides, those with the red cups, few chanterelles and one boletus edulis. This is definitely enough for me and it was another nice day in nature. So thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.